Hey, it's your reigning supreme, the Dark Queen, and welcome back to my channel. Cause I'm the fucking supreme. So first of all, if you hear um dogs panting, my uh, two dogs are currently playing behind me, and I don't bear care to stop them. It'll make them tired in the end. So um, you might be thinking, where's the Mina review? That will be next. I don't know why, but I just had like the urge to open her up immediately because um yeah i found uh omg dance 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 virtuel uh for ten dollars like that's amazing uh she is like a year and a half old so she's been on the market for a really long time <laughs> so shocked that i found her and She's one of the OMGs that actually interested me, and this is my first OMG review, but I have, uh, four others. Uh, if you're interested, the four are, um, Tough Guy, or Tough Dude, either one, um, Cool Lev, and then I also have, um, Moonlight, BB, and, uh, Sunset. So, she'll be my fifth, and I do plan on getting Skate Park Cutie. Um, but I don't know when, just whenever she goes on sale, I guess. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So one thing about OMGs that I love way more about, uh, or at least the older OMG boxes more than Rainbow High boxes is that they all have like some sort of gimmick to it or, uh, and then they also become like a little playset or whatever on the inside. Uh, so for hers... It looks like a whole TV, and it's all shimmery, and there's pixels at the top. Uh, you can see her name at the bottom, Virtuelle. Uh, and then on the side, you can see everyone else being Miss Royale, Major Lady, B-Girl, and then Virtuelle. Major Lady is the only other one that I was interested in in this line, but I didn't find her at Walmart, but it's whatever, because... At the end of the day, OMG is not my main line, which is why I'm waiting for them to go in clearance. <laughs> um, so here's like a TV channel, and it's just a bunch of little sayings and stuff. Then over here, we have a little green glitched out effect of Virtuelle, which is really cool. Um, so let's get into her. You pull this, and it looks like that she dancing. Or let's dim the light so you can see. So yeah, that's fun. Um, it looks better in person, I promise. So let's now brighten back up the lighting. And then we're gonna open her. So you pull this tab on the side and out comes a virtue well. Um, if you're curious, the inside of her box is a lime green, um, but we don't really need it anymore. Um, so yeah, here she is. This is an older one, so there's still a bunch of plastic waste. We love that. So here's the background. It's like a whole little pixelated city. So cool, cool, cool. All right, so we have her out of the box. I really like her. But uh, let's get into what she comes with first. So she comes with her little dance guide magazine with her on it and then there's her right there and it says loading loading virtuelle robot groove and fashion glow and then a little dance guide to doing the robot okay um she does come with a black stand and a uh neon yellow brush why? I have no clue. Because, like, you can't really brush braids. Weird, but whatever. Um, 
And then she does come with the two extra waist, waist clips. And then she comes with a garment bag and a hat box. So let's get this open first. Uh, actually, no. We're gonna look at her before we get into that stuff. So this is Virtuelle. She's really gorgeous. Uh, yeah, she is really pretty. And I always forget how much smaller, uh, OMGs are. Because they're the same size as Junior High for Rainbow High. Um, but yeah, these, she's really cool. Um, I guess we'll just get up into her hair. It is hot pink, uh with little braids that have hot pink and light pink. Uh, and then it's just all braided and it's pretty nice, but there is, a, it is spaced out rooting. So if you look over here, it's not the best, but it's still really cute. And I'm, I still love that OMGs have such textured hair. Well, Rainbow High does not have very textured hair. I wish they would expand on that, because so far, Vanessa's the only one with braids, and Vanessa is stunning. Um, her eye color is teal, and then, uh, she does have braids coming down right here, which is cute. Um, her makeup is, she has purple pixelated eyebrows, a little pixel dot right there for a little shine, pixelated pink makeup with more yellow and teal pixels right here, yellow right here, uh, glossy purple lips, like these are glossy, loves that, um, and she is sporting a literal, the darkest doll skin tone that I've ever seen, uh, Chanel doesn't count because Chanel is supposed to be black and white. Um, but Barbie obviously has done darker, but I'm talking, or Barbie Fashionista, I'm talking for OMG slash Rainbow High. I don't know if Felicia from Bratz is darker, like I said, I don't know, but Virtuelle is pretty dark, and she's a queen for it. Um, and then for her top, it is a little fishnet yellow with pink little trim right there and there then it has uh it says extra right there and then it's black and has blue pixels um and there's it's actually like a cutout for right here but it doesn't lay that way which i don't really care because it looks good and then she has a translucent uh blue belt that holds up her uh translucent pink or mesh ish <laughs> uh, chaps, and then they have little pockets right here with ribbon. It's really cute, honestly. Um, and you can remove them, uh, cause, like, cause there's, is there a Velcro? No, there's no Velcro on this side, so you have to go in with the belt right here and unbuckle it like, um, Gabriella's belt. Uh, but she does have shorts underneath, which are cute. And then she does have yellow uh, socks, black and yellow cyber socks. Hard to describe, but you can see the print right there. So it's like circuit board. And then she has cute little uh, sneakers that are platforms, and they're black with translucent yellow sole, and then have uh, pink and teal straps and laces. Really, really cute. And then one thing I love about OMG that they brought to Shadow High is long acrylic nails. Like, purr. I love long nails. Um, not in person, because, my god, it's impossible to do shit. But doll form, yes. And they're hot pink. So now let's get into what she has. So her garment bag. Some people like to save these and they're like, oh my god. But for me, I don't give a fuck. It's literally just paper. Ugh. And then it is a jacket. Um, you also get a pair of fake plastic boobs if you want them. And then you have a translucent pink hanger. 
And the jacket itself is really nice. It's a little pink trim up here, and then a gray, uh, shiny fabric, and then a super shiny neon green fabric that is a little crinkly. Loves it. And then if we go into her hat box, and here we have some cute neon green or neon yellow uh, heart, little pixelated earrings. And then we have a cool little visor for her that looks like a circuit board. And then we have the little spray can black light which we will be testing at the very end. So let me put all this stuff on her. So this is her with everything on. Interesting, but to be honest, I really don't like the visors. So she will not be wearing this at all. So yeah. Final thoughts are that she is really, really cool and definitely worth it and gives off Starfire from the live action Teen Titans vibes. So yeah, really, really like her. And if you can find her for cheap, like I did, 10 out of 10, definitely worth it. And now for the black light. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Everything is glowing. It looks cool in person, but I don't think so on camera. So let me go get my black light flashlight and we'll see how much better it is. All right, this is a lot better. You can tell how much more neon she is. Trust me, it works a lot better in person, but this is cool as shit. And you don't even have to buy a these neon dolls because a lot of toys end up glowing like this one glows uh right here i don't know like i said it doesn't really show up well on camera but it does in real life so from your reigning supreme i grant you a wonderful glorious fantabulous day toodles